Shy Life is a free available open source software that is used worldwide by the people for the scientific, engineering and numerical calculations. SciLab was first created in 1990 by the researchers from the National Institute for Research in Computer Science and Automation, that is INRIA. It is situated in France. Why SciLab? It contains large number of built-in functions which are organized in libraries called Toolbox. In Scilab, we can use the functions by just recalling their names and there is no need to redefine them. It also offers possibility to add programs interactively from other programming languages such as C, C++, Fortran, etc. It can be used in different operating systems such as Unix, Windows, Linux, Mac, etc. Scilab uses matrix environment which is quite simple and easy to use. In Scilab, mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication can be performed immediately without any delay. Now let's understand how to install Scilab under Windows. The first step is download Scilab. For this, go to the website of Scilab and choose your installation package under the download section. Now execute the downloaded .exe file. Wait for the installation to complete and finally the installation is finished. Now you can launch your Scilab. Let's start working in Scilab. Before working in Scilab, you will come to know that workspace in Scilab is divided into the various subparts. This portion of the window is called console window. In console window, you can perform various simple numerical calculations. For example, let A equals 2, B equals 5, S equals A plus B and then press enter key. So you will get the pro sum of these two numbers that is 2 plus 5 equals 7. This portion of the window is called the variable browser. Here you will get the value of the different variables that is A equals 2, B equals 5 and S equals 7. And this portion is called command history portion. Here you will get the history of the various command applied earlier. And this is called editor. And there is another portion of the Scilab called graphic window. And graphic window is used for displaying the graphic outputs. In next coming videos we will came to know about what is graphic window and we will learn about how the various graphic outputs are displayed on the graphic window.